Okay, everybody. Uh, it's Chad again, uh, Sticks Bog. I just kind of wanted to give a uh, just the last video, kind of wrap things up on my <clears throat> on the Heineken pot and stove system that I kind of uh, been working on for the last two days. <clears throat> um, what I've got here is something that I think I'm gonna try out for a little bit. I think it does pretty good. <clears throat> first off, uh, first off, I just want to show you in comparison my cook setup that I would have that would actually compare to it. Um, and here I have my stove down there, some paper or some yeah paper clips in there to clip the windscreen together and a windscreen. Of course, the pot and the stove. I mean the pot and the lid. And then uh, in comparison, I would use this is the Backcountry 700 milliliter uh, titanium cup or pot, uh, titanium lid. And there I've got a windscreen and I believe there's a paper clip on it and uh, the Grand Winnie Pro. So that would be the system that would be comparable to the Heine system that I've kind of made myself. Um, so I'll just go ahead and show you right here. I don't know if you can see that. For everything in that system is 5.3 ounces. Uh, everything in that system is 2 point, I'm just gonna say 2 point, well, 2.6 ounces. So right there, I've cut half of the weight off of this system by going with this stuff. Now the trade-off is obviously durability. Um, first off, the pot, this pot, the Heine pot, is not near as durable as uh, this titanium mug is. And as well, the Grand Weenie Pro is much more durable than the uh, Fancy Feast, than this Fancy Feast cat food can. Um, but uh, another way to look at it too, this Fancy Feast cat food can cost less than a dollar, the Grand Winnie Pro cost twelve dollars and then of course you got to go through getting it shipped and everything. Not trying to knock it in any way, just kind of throwing it out there. Um, and then like the Honey Pots, of course, it was two fifty, but the thing is, is they're not available anymore, so if you find them, you're just lucky. Um, and then this here, I think I paid uh, about thirty-five dollars or something like that, forty dollars for the cut or for the pot and a titanium spork. So that's your differences there. So anyway, I just kind of want to show you how this stuff goes up. I'm going to kind of set this here. Oh yeah, well I didn't show you. Uh, with the way I'm going to use it, I'm going to set this windscreen up. I'm going to run the titanium uh, uh, tent pegs. I'm going to run them through the windscreen and that's going to serve as my pot holder. And it's just going to sit over the stove, which is uh, just basically the open stove. I'll show you that real quick. Now, I don't know how well you can see this, but you can see I've got holes, and I've made these holes with the stakes, and the way it goes is when I wrap those around, two sets of the holes have to meet up in there. So I do that, and that's why I'm using two paper clips, so I can paper clip the sides uh, and have the sides paper clip down well. Okay, so this is what I end up with here. This is basically my windscreen and my pot holder, or my uh, pot holder, yeah, I said it right, and my stove. Now basically all I'm gonna do is fill up the stove with water, I mean with uh, fuel. The cool thing about an open burner is I don't have to wait on it prime or anything. As soon as I light it, go ahead and set this over the top of it, and I can set my can on top of it like that and it'll start cooking just right off the bat. So what I'm fixing to do, I'm fixing to use three quarter uh, of an ounce of heat and I'm gonna test I've got two cups of water over here I'm gonna see just how long it takes for me to boil three quarter or to boil two cups of water using three quarters of an ounce of heat so anyway I'm not gonna continue filming uh, I'll just kind of uh, show the results at the end all right okay I just kind of want to show you real quick how simple it's gonna be to use this um, I've already filled up my stove with uh, three quarters of an ounce of heat I'm gonna go ahead and light that, and I've already put two cups of water in my stove here. All right, believe it or not, that's lit. Set that over there. 
set that on there and it's good no waiting on priming or anything like that so anyway just kind of wanted to show you that and uh like i say i'll get back with the results in a little bit see ya okay uh here we are eight minutes 23 seconds i'm gonna say this stove is about out i still feel it burning but if we look down in here we got a little bit of a boil going so still going up oh, that's out so about eight minutes 30 40 seconds something like that it actually did get a little bit of a boil going uh oh fucked up the camera there um so anyway i'm pretty happy with that i figure if i put an ounce in it uh it would for surely bring that amount of fuel or water to a good rolling boil but actually that the way it was boiling there would be good enough um let's see here and then like i say that's my setup now one thing i will add that i didn't say before uh the tent stakes i didn't include in my overall weight simply because i'm going to be carrying these anyway um, I usually carry 10 of these stakes. These are the mountainfitter.com 7 inch tie eye stakes and I usually carry 7 of them. I only need 6 to pinch my Lunar Duo but then again depending on what uh, shelter I take it depends on how many I actually use. But anyway uh, for 2.7 ounces for the stove, I mean the stove, the windscreen, the cook pot with this band on it and the lid uh, 2.7 ounces that ain't bad uh, and then if you want to take in like I said how much it costs you know, just say a dollar for the fancy feast and two and a half dollars for that and this windscreen you can make that out of various things so you know maybe five bucks um is what it costs altogether. of course now i'm gonna say for me going out and spending gas money and buying can openers and all this other junk it cost me quite a bit more but now that i have it i can do it again if i need to um, but anyway that's the that's my make your own gear heineken cook pot and just a little fancy feast open burner stove set up. Uh, anyway, if you like it, just let me know. If you have any questions or comments, uh, something I could do to make it better, just uh, also as well let me know. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch all these videos. I know they've been kind of lengthy. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm happy with it. I think I'm going to give it a try. Um, you know, just see how it goes. But anyway, I appreciate you for watching. Uh, and I'll see you later.